Welcome to the Got Math class. Let's make math so easy. Hello everyone. I'm your teacher for this question. The question says in the following exercises, multiply. We're multiplying negative nine point sixteen times negative sixty eight point three four. So we're multiplying these two numbers. If you still remember the steps for solve. Uh, decimal multiplication. You will know that the first step is to multiply. So to multiply with no decimals. So with no decimals. The second step is to count. Count what? Count the number. The number of digits. After decimal place, after decimal, for the factors, and the last step is to put the same number. So same number of digits after decimal. For the product or for our answer, and to consider this question is rather long, let's go through this question together, and we'll go through this question step by step. Okay, so first we need to know that when we have two, so we、we'll、have when we have two、uh, negative signs, this becomes plus or a positive sign. So these two. Uh, negative signs cancel out to become positive. Okay, so、uh, it's another key point for this question. So two negative signs, if they multiply, and this becomes a positive sign. So if we have negative a times negative a, this becomes a positive a times a. Okay, okay. So now let's get back to the question. Now we know that these two、uh, negative signs cancelled out. What's left is nine point sixteen times sixty eight point thirty four. Okay, and let's do the multiplication. We should have nine point sixteen. Okay, first we multiply with no decimals. Okay, so let's multiply six eight three four times nine sixteen. Okay, and we have twenty four right here. And three times six is equal to eighteen plus two, so twenty. Six times eight is forty eight plus two, so fifty. And so five right here. So six times six is thirty six. Plus five is forty-one, and one times four, one times three, one times eight, and one times six. Okay. Then we have nine times uh four, which is thirty-six. Nine times three is equal to twenty-seven plus three, so thirty. Nine times eight is equal to seventy-two plus three, seventy-five, and six times nine is. Fifty-four, so plus seven is sixty-one. Okay, and we add them together. We have four, four, three plus six is nine. One plus eight is nine. We have four plus six plus five, so fifteen. And this becomes two, and we bring the six down. Okay, so we should have six two five nine nine four four. The next step is to count the number of digits after decimal. Forty vectors. So in total, we should have one, two, three, four. So in total, there are four digits after decimal forty vectors, and we just count one, two, three, and four. We could put the sorry, we could put the decimal before nine in order to have four digits after a decimal for our answer. Okay, so we should have six. Hundred twenty five point ninety nine and four four. Okay, so、uh, we should have this as our answer. So two six five point nine nine four four. So four four is the answer for our question. Okay, so 
what you can take away from this question is how to do decimal multiplication. We just follow the steps. Step one, multiply with no decimals. Step two, count the numbers, uh, number of digits after decimal place for the vectors. Step three, put the same number for digits after decimal for the answer. And there is also a concept we need to know is that if we multiply two negative signs, it becomes a positive sign. Okay, so two negative signs cancel out, become a positive sign. Okay, those were takeaways, and that's all for this question. See you in the next video. Thank you.